yes we are back online Ooh, technology 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 is experiencing is this technology is experiencing technology hey blessed people welcome to sanctify sunday wisdom for women oh yes we are going to keep on pressing that's what i'm talking about we'll keep on pressing pressing on the upward way so welcome and thank you for joining with me this blessed morning father in the name of jesus we thank you for this privilege opportunity to be here have your way send us your spirit give us your spirit pour upon us your spirit oh god in us and upon us we ask for your spirit today we thank you for all the rents and we thank you for the ears that are hearing the mouth speaking in declaring your testimony the testimony of jesus Thank you, ancient of days. Let your name be glorified right now in our midst as we gather here. Yes, the doors are open, people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, people, if you are out there, let us know you're out there. God bless you. And again, shall I say thank you for always finding time to hang out with me on Wisdom for Women. You know, baby, five star. I got a song. Yo, I got, I got a song. Ooh, Lord Jesus, help me with this song. So, some of you may know this song because I got to put a little twist in it. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm married to Jesus. When I'm singing this song, you understand that that's what today is all about. Today is about matter for matters and Mary for Mary Jesus. Matter for matters and Mary for Mary. Oh, yes, I love that. Matter for matters and Mary for Mary. Okay, so listen. I'm married to Jesus and abiding in him. I'm married to Jesus and abiding in him. Someday he's coming to take me with him to my eternal home. Oh yes, I'm married to Jesus and abiding in him. I am married to Jesus and abiding in him. Someday he's coming to take me with him. To my eternal home, are you married? So marry yourself to Jesus and abide in him. Let us marry to Jesus, abide in him. Oh, someday he's coming to take us away to our eternal home. Yes. What did Jesus say? He said, I am telling you the truth. If it were not so, I will not tell you. I'm not lying. God is trustworthy. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He said, I go to prepare you a place so that where I am, you will be also. Hallelujah. So that where he is, we will be also. Amen. We said this into the back, y'all. Praise the Lord. Because today, now Martha for matters and Mary for Mary. Mary for Mary, Martha for matters. Ooh, so I'm going to talk about two lovely sisters today. Martha, Miss Matters. Mm -hmm. Are you a Miss Martha? Are you or a Miss Mary? Mary for Mary, Martha, Martha for matters. Mary for Mary, Martha for matters. Are you Miss Mary? Or are you Miss Matters? You know, sometimes we think the more we work for God or the more I get involved in the church, therein lies my salvation. The Bible says in John 15, 7, he says, if ye abide in me, there is an abiding in God that has to be done. Just like the woman who is married abides with the husband. Yes, that should be our relationship with the Lord Jesus. Our relationship with the Lord Jesus is you marry to him and stay married to him. You let his face be your concern. You let his feet be your concern. Yeah, you hear that? You let his face and his feet be your concern. Where is his face? His face, that's where the mouth is. And that is where Jesus is teaching from. He's teaching with his mouth. 
So what did Mary do? Mary made the feet of Jesus a concern. Mary made the mouth of Jesus a concern. She was looking onto the face. We say looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. So Mary was married to Jesus. Martha was concerned. The Bible says, let, let's read that in, in Luke 10. And in Luke 10, 38, he says, Now as they went on their way, he entered a village and a woman named Martha. So the house was Martha's house. Because that's what the Bible says. Received him into her house. And so the sister was there. And the Lazarus, the brother, was there. And she had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving. Hmm. Woman of God, are you distracted with much serving? You know, sometimes I feel it in my heart when I see ushers, children's teacher. Um, who else stays outside? I think greeters, no, I think greeters are inside. Um, I can't even think about, even even people who are like um, the, what do they call them? That stand by the, these are all things that we created. The, the protocol, the protocol for the preacher who stands right in front there. And sometimes I see some videos where some of them are actually sitting down. But unfortunately, they ain't got no Bible. And sometimes in church also, the pastor is calling out, let us open the Bible to John 15, 7. But you ain't opening your Bible because you are in too much serving like Martha. Let me tell you something. It is okay. It is okay to abandon that service and sit at the feet of Jesus to be taught. Yes. Mary married Jesus. The feet of Jesus. Mary married the mouth of Jesus. The Bible says that Mary sat at his feet and listened to his teaching. Are you listening to the teaching of God? Are you only concerned with much service? Martha matters. Martha, yes, it matters. When we don't sit down at the feet of Jesus, when we don't receive the words from the mouth of Jesus, when push come to shove, and I always say, push will always come to shove. When trouble lands at your doorstep, because trouble will land at your doorstep. You know, our mother has taught us to save for the raining day. Whether you like it or not, whether I like it or not, whether we like it or not, the rain is going to fall. We cannot stop the rain. In Ecclesiastes, said, there's time for everything. There's a time for rain. There's a time for sunshine. There's a time to weep. There's a time to mourn. There's a time to fight and there's a time to be at peace. There is time. God made seasons and times. He's a God that created seasons and times. So in our lives, we're going to have seasons. We're going to have time just like we have in the atmosphere. We're going to have those seasons and times in our lives. But what is going to make you stand? What is going to make us stand when push come to shove? When the seasons show up, it is the teaching that we have received. In James 1.19, he said we should be slow to speak, quick to hear. In Ecclesiastes, it says that when we come into the house of God, we should be slow to be offering up sacrifice of our, this, our mouth, this mouth that talk all the time. He says when we come into the house of God, we should be careful with our feet and be careful with the words that we speak, meaning be slow to speak. Listen more. Listen more to the word of God. Listen more to the teaching of the Lord Jesus Christ. Year in, year out, you're in service. Like I said, I feel sometimes for children's teacher particularly because they are kind of cut off away from the church. In that room, with the children, <laughs> then you wonder, what are they, are they receiving nourishment themselves? I feel for the ushers or the security people who are outside. If there's no megaphone or if there's no way to transmit the message outside where they are so they can hear the message too. You are serving and serving and serving and serving. 
you are Martha. But what about Mary? Let me tell you what Jesus said. And maybe this will give you a you know, don't let nobody um, bully you to say, what are you doing for God? Ah, you have been in this church. What are you working? You're not doing anything. You're not doing that. You're not doing that. Hmm. Hmm, my beloved. You can work for God. But be careful that you don't become a martyr. Why do I say that? Listen to what Jesus told Martha. And this is very important. Listen to what Jesus told Martha. When Martha came to Jesus, complaining about Mary. Why, 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 why wasn't Mary complaining about Martha? Why did not Mary complain about Martha? Because she was listening and receiving the word. Martha was busy in the business of pleasing the Lord. She was busy. I mean, it, yeah, sometimes we say it's okay to be busy in the work of God. Yeah, when you are busy... And you're not taking time. You know, my husband always say that the, the tank away, they carry gas, also needs needs uh, to be refilled too. When the tanker that carries fuel or gas does not have gas in it, it's not going to move. See, you also need to make sure. If you want to be Martha, mm -hmm, but what Jesus told Martha, he said, Mary has chosen the best thing and nobody can take it from her. Mary was consumed with the feet of Jesus. How do I say that again? When Jesus came visiting them again, what did Mary do? Mary began to weep on the feet of Jesus. Took out the, uh, the oil and began to wipe the feet of Jesus. Mary, what happened with the feet, the feet of Jesus now? The place of humility. The place of sitting down. Mary sat down at the feet of Jesus. Bible says, humble yourself under the mighty arm of God. Are we sitting down at the feet of Jesus? Are you studying the word? Because that is the feet of Jesus. You're not thinking of yourself, I'm this great person. Even for the pastors too, it's also dangerous. When you are preaching year in, year out, but you're not even taking time. To listen to God anymore when you begin to go back and bring your old messages nothing new so when you, because you're so busy you're so busy for the Lord you're in the trenches you are this Jesus said what he said Mary has chosen the best thing and nobody can take that from her what is the best thing what was Mary doing when we say, okay, Jesus, Mary has chosen the best thing. So I have to find out, what is this best thing that Mary chose? So we knew, what was Mary doing? Mary was simply sitting at the feet of Jesus and listening to the teaching. That's what the Bible says here. Mary who sat at the lost feet and listened to his teaching. Martha received him into, his, into her house, all right. But she was distracted by service. So everything that is written in the word of God, Romans 15, 4, is before and is written so that we will learn from it. I'm not saying don't serve. But sometimes you can shut down. And say, you know what? We have prayer today. Mm, I must still want to study the word some more. Because when you face God, God is not going to ask you how many prayer meetings did you go to. When you, you are hit with that temptation at home, when that girl just come visit you, you know what I'm saying? She just come visit you. It's not prayer that will send that girl away. It is, have you read the word that says flee from all appearance of evil? Have you heard your teaching as your pastor taught you about flee from all appearance of evil? Not pray it, not to rebuke it, not fast it, but it's talk about flee. So when that girl come with that skimpy dress, ready, sent by the enemy to come get you down, if you have not listened to the scripture that says flee from all appearance of evil, what are you going to do? You can pray that away. That's not prayer. That's not prayer time. That's not fasting time. That's not rebuking time. <laughs> when that man show up with his pack, you know, everything is set. Then you open the shed small. So, you know, you see, you faint. Mm -hmm. If you have not listened, if I have not listened to the word that says flee from all appearance, if it appear like evil, it doesn't even have to be evil. 
But is, ah, God is so good to us. So God has warned us in his word. He says, if he appear, if he looks like it, looks like it, not that it's even evil. Because you say, but it's not evil. It's just an innocent hug. It's just an innocent hug. It's just an innocent visit. I can just visit him. I can just visit her. There is nothing wrong with it. There is love in sharing. Love in sharing. Love in sharing. Love in sharing. sharing. Okay. But if you have not listened to the teaching of Jesus, if you have been so busy in the children's church, in the usher department, in the this, he said, Martha was distracted by service. There is a time for service. And there is a time for you to say, you know what? Shut down. I want to sit down here. I want to listen to this word. Because when evil appear, when something that looks like evil appear, what am I going to do? I cannot usher them out. <laughs> You can't usher them out. Hallelujah. It's even our children are at risk with children's teachers that do not sit down under the teaching of Jesus Christ. It's so risky. It's, it's listen, it is so risky. Even children's church, I, I you know, I, I got my I got my thinking about that. I got and you know, been working with me for a while, you know, I got my I got my thinking about that. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, people, because they need the word of God. Our children need the word of God. The teachers need the word of God. Because when you go to Walmart, or you go to the grocery store, <laughs> and then you just pick that thing. <laughs> if you do not hear the word of God that says, he that steals no, he that stole should steal no more, but he should walk with their hands. If you have never been taught that scripture, how do you know that that is stealing? They just say, yeah. I heard people say, and the Walmart is big, it doesn't matter. If you take it, it's not, okay, when, when they catch you for shoplifting, then you know it's a matter. So. It's a matter. So. In the eyes of God, it's stealing. When you carry those trash bags, you know what I'm talking about trash bags? Like, oh, it's just trash bag. It is stealing. Except one that they used to bag your goods. If you now extend your hand and pack some that you did not use to bag your goods, it is called stealing. But if you have not listened to the teaching of Jesus Christ, that let him that steal, that used to steal, that is currently stealing, right now, steal no more. Martha was distracted. So because she was distracted, she was not at the feet of Jesus. Distraction stops you from listening to the teaching of Jesus. And because she was distracted, you see, she started complaining about Mary. So check your life. When you begin to complain about people, it simply means you have been distracted from the following of the Lord Jesus. You have been distracted from listening to the teaching of Jesus. Because if you have not been distracted, you will know that in Revelation, which we just did last week, or yeah, last week, that it says that the devil is the accuser of the brethren. What did Martha do? Martha came and accused Mary before Jesus. Jesus, well, what's up, Jesus? See what Mary is doing. Why would you ask Mary to? Which one concerns Jesus? And uh, 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 whether Jesus should ask Mary to come and follow you, cook. Excuse you. You know what happened? Martha did not sleep, sit down to listen to the teaching of Jesus. That do not point accusing finger at your brother or your sister. Okay? Because the devil is the only the one that is the accuser of the brethren. Do not join his team. Do not join his, um, do not have team with him. But all this comes with listening to Jesus. Sitting at his feet. Mary sat at his feet. Mary was not distracted with service. Mary chose, Jesus said, Mary chose that which is most important. So that tells us the most important thing for me is not service in church. The most important thing for me is not singing in the choir. Sometimes you can, you know what, take sabbatical. I say, you know what, I am not singing in this choir. Listen, I feel that my spiritual life is just going down because I'm in practice every day. Every day I'm in church. Every day I'm in prayer meeting. Every day I'm in women's meeting. I'm in this, I'm in that. You know what, I will take a sabbatical. Because I need to sit down at the feet of Jesus. So you don't become like Martha that begin to complain about your fellow choir member, about your choir leader, about the women's leader. Because that's what's going to happen. Because you have not started the feet. You know, you know, you'll be complaining about the women leader. You'll complain about the men's leader. you complain about the choir leader. you complain about the sister singing. That sister is not singing very well. Like we came to church for American Idol. Or for Nigeria Idol. Or for which gospel idol. You know, I always say people sing. Church is not an idol place. 
Where will you come? Oh, that place is not singing very well. Mm -mm -mm. Sing and offer your praise. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. So what happened when we begin to complain is simply because we have moved out of the place of listening to the Lord Jesus. So when you, get, when you find yourself in that zone, it's time to take a sabbatical. It's time to tell yourself, you know what? I'm going to zone off. I'm going to sit down here. I'm going to be key. I'm going to be listening to, to the preaching. I'm going to be taking my notes. I'm going to be going home. I'm going to be looking over my notes. I'm looking over what God is saying. I'm looking over what God is telling me. You know, I'm going to be doing all that. Whenever you get to that place, Martha was super distracted by nothing else but by service. Serving who? Serving Jesus. Serving Jesus. She was distracted with serving Jesus, trying to please Jesus. But Mary, you know what? Mary, like, you know what? I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to stay right at the feet of Jesus. I'm going to come worship the Lord Jesus. I'm going to cry at his feet. I'm going to wipe his feet. I'm going to put everything is about the feet of Jesus. When, when you are at somebody's feet, you know that you are bowing down. When we talk about worship also. Worship at the feet of Jesus. Are you at the feet of Jesus? Or you are standing at Jesus and telling him stuff. What Martha was doing. Martha was standing. Jesus was sitting teaching. But Martha was standing and talking and, and saying, Jesus did, Jesus that, Jesus said, see what Mary did, see what, ah, 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 ah. We had to come down. When you find yourself in that zone, this is an awakening. This is a wake up call. Wake up call. If you find yourself in that zone, where you feel you're complaining about your pastor, you're complaining about the women's leader, you're complaining about you have, you have left the feet of Jesus. You need to take a sabbatical from whatever service you're doing to Jesus because you're now you're being distracted. Let's remember that Jesus said that Mary has chosen that which is the most important. So Jesus, are you saying that your service to you is not important? Jesus said what? Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. So Mary chose what? She chose the mouth of Jesus, like I said, and she chose the feet of Jesus, which is a place of humility. She humbled herself and sat down and said, you know what, I need to hear what Jesus is teaching. Martha probably, I, I don't know what Martha was thinking. She felt that she had heard enough teaching. She knew enough. I don't know. I really don't know. But Mary felt that, you know, I need to learn about Jesus. I need to learn from Jesus. I need to know about what Jesus is saying. I got to sit down here. I just can't move away from here. I got to hear what he's saying. I got to grab everything that Jesus is saying because I've got to live a better life. I have to live a better life. I have to live a better life. I have a better, for better and better living. I have to live a better life. I have to live a life that is more like Jesus. Make it your plan as you're entering, you're entering 2021, entering 2022. Make it your plan. You might want to take a sabbatical from that choir. Take a sabbatical from that prayer warrior, prayer bow. You always pray, always pray, 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 pray. Maybe it's time for you to sit down. Why are you praying not answered? Have you thought about it? Maybe I've not even heard the word to know that that's all. My husband always said that everything's not about prayer. And that's the truth. Because when you want to get poor, when you want to be poor, there's something to do. When you want to be rich, there's something to do. When you want to resist the devil, there's something to do. And I talked about binding, 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 all this binding, binding. But there's something else to do. There's something to do. We have not so learned Christ. What are you learning about Christ? But if you're not sitting on his feet, how can you learn? In Acts 1, 1, he said that what Jesus began to do and to teach. Are you sitting under the teaching of Jesus? Or are you busy and distracted? You know, the, the word of God is so true to us. He says, Martha was distracted. Distracted is the word, by service. There's nothing wrong with Martha come to sit down. You were going to eat popcorn today. Oh, well, popcorn is good and nourishing. Hallelujah. Must we eat the old full cost meal instead of sitting down and learning and eating the bread of life? Mary chose the good portion. That is the good portion, the bread of life. Sitting right there and receiving the word and soaking it in and so you're not just say your pastor you say pastor you know this this three months three months of the beginning of the year i want to sit down and hear teaching as a children's teacher like i said they are locked away they are not dependent so i don't even know if the pastors give them the tapes of the service or even can you go home and look at the message for that day and hear what the pastor preached or what the past if they preach of what the pastor taught if the pastor even thought at all, or what they did was treat, preach and motivate the people. But how would you know? How would I know? Like I said, 
I got my mind about children's church, choir practice, all the stuff that we do. Mary was distracted by service. When you feel, when you feel yourself in that zone, like I said, when you begin to complain about your pastor, the women's leader, the choir leader, the, the treble singer, the auto singer, the everybody, the, the, the person that sweeping the church, or they didn't sweep the church very well, they didn't do this very well, they didn't even move this, or the teacher sit down, they not it very well, did it, da, 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 da. You are moved, and we are, you are in the zone of Martha. Let's move back into the zone of Mary. 2022 is coming. I said the beginning of COVID. If you're still following God, the same way you were before. <laughs> Then me, I don't know. I cannot help you. Because all I can do now is give you this information. And God is waking us up. This is God waking us up. This corona is waking. She'll wake you up. She'll wake me up. She'll wake us up. From how we follow the Lord. Am I Martha? Martha for martyrs. Or am I Mary for Mary? I'm married to Jesus and abiding in him. I'm married to Jesus, abiding in him. Oh, someday he's coming to take me away to my eternal home. Oh, yes, I am married to Jesus and abiding in him. I'm married to Jesus and abiding in him. I know that's Someday he's coming to take me away to my eternal home. Father, in the name of Jesus, give us the grace. Father, give us the grace for you prepare yourself a bride. Oh, find your bride in us. Give us the grace to follow you like Mary. Help us not to be distracted like Martha in the name of Jesus. Help us, oh God, to be able to put a balance to know that the best portion is to sit at your feet and hear your teaching. Help us, Lord Jesus. Who comes up with those teachers that are teaching your word? Open our eyes, oh God, and give us the grace not to be cowardly, but not to be strong because to follow you takes strength and takes courage. Help us, Lord, as we take a stand in, as we approach the new year to look at our lives again and whatever service that we think we are doing for you that is distracting us from listening to you. Oh, God, open our eyes and give us the boldness to take a step towards you, to listen to you and all that you have for us. As we enter 2022, even as we're living 2021, we are a few days, oh God. Help us to listen more to you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out with us today on Wisdom for Women. Remember, Martha for Martyrs and Mary for Mary Jesus. Marry Jesus. Don't just marry him and step away and begin to walk, 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 walk. No, but marry, abide in him. Abide with him. Stay with him at his feet. Let us humble ourselves under the mighty ends of God. And then we can be able to resist the enemy. Our number one, the devil. Amen. I'm married to Jesus and abiding in him. Oh, yes, I'm married to Jesus. Abiding in him, I know someday he's coming to take us away to our eternal home. God bless you. Have a fruitful, um, yeah, next time I think next time we see it's going to be another year. So have a fruitful rest of the year. The Lord God be with us. The Lord God continue to keep us. The Lord God continue to give us grace, mercy, and favor for the rest of the year. And as we step into 2022, I will see you again by the grace of God. If the Lord tarries and if God permits me and gives me life, I'll catch you in 2022.